Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is Mothers and Fathers Arise and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Matthew chapter 20 and verse 20. Then the mother of Zebedee's sons come, came to Jesus with her sons and kneeling down asked the favor of him. In our anchor scripture, the mother of two of Jesus' disciples came to him and the Bible says she requested a favor from him. A lot of people got angry with her for daring to ask the favor she did from Jesus. But today's meditation will not allow us the time to appraise her request. Jesus had many followers. Yet, this is the only record the Bible has of a mother coming to Jesus to secure the future of her children. Where were the others? Where were the other mothers? Hate this woman or love her, she knew two things. One, that Jesus was able to secure the future of her children. And two, that she had a role to play in this happening by her prayers. Today, I want us to take some time to intentionally commit the future of our children and grandchildren to God. The era our children are being born into is a dark, depraved, Satan-infested era. And if we do not intentionally secure our children by praying for them and radically, permit me to use this word, indoctrinating them with values enshrined in the word of God, we will not have a next generation of believers. So today, fathers, mothers, join me as we arise and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your love. Thank you for the gift of the children you have so graciously blessed us with. Thank you because some people praying this prayer are mothers and fathers whose babies have not yet come. Thank you because their babies will come and these prayers will catch up with them. Father, we thank you for the gift of Jesus and for the salvation he purchased for us and our children with his blood. Today, Father, we are praying for our children, our boys, our girls, our babies, our young adults, and even those who have become adults. Lord, today we dedicate them to you afresh in the name of Jesus. We ask that you secure their futures. Please do not let them deviate from the ancient paths of the kingdom of God. Please, Lord, let the spirit of decadence decadence and perversion and the antichrist spirit never find expression in their lives. We pray for the grace for them to stand out and shine for you. Lord, like Daniel, no matter how enticing the culture of this age is, let our children be engraced to stand out for you. We reject the spirit that persuades and drives children into excessive drinking, smoking, and drug abuse. We curse those spirits and we declare that our children are no-go areas for them in the name of Jesus. We declare that the children that God has given us are for signs and wonders. They will not denounce the faith. They will not give heed to demonic antichrist spirits. They will be on fire for God all the days of their lives. We pray that your grace for excellence will rest upon our children and their children, that in their generation it will be obvious that they are separate unto you. Father, we pray against sicknesses and disease. We pray by your mercy that we will not bury our children, that you will keep them in your love and your mercy until you return or until they have fulfilled purpose and destiny. Lord, we come against plans of the enemy to divert the written destinies of our children. They will fulfill the purpose you sent them to earth for and we will rejoice over them. On that glorious day, when all people will stand before you, neither we nor our children will be found wanting. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you were blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.